fine I'd weave a magic strand of rainbow design of rainbow design far over the water I'd reach my magic band to every human being so they would understand so Now, I know I'm usually sitting next to a table, but this is not the usual table. And if you uh, look, you'll see it isn't a table at all. It's a musical instrument. Uh... Doesn't have a keyboard. Otherwise, inside it looked like it might have been some kind of early type of piano. Well, later on, we're going to have somebody who knows how to play it. There's a whole family of people coming up to visit us. Uh, maybe just to uh, kind of set things, set the stage for it, I'll sing a couple family type songs. Do you know this one? A mother daughter type song. You can help me out on it if you just sing Lolly Toodum, Toodum, Lolly Toodum Day. Got that? Try it again. Lolly Toodum, Toodum, Lolly Toodum Day. Now, as I went out one morning to breathe the pleasant air, Lolly Toodum, Toodum, Lolly Toodum Day. As I went out one morning to breathe the pleasant air, I overheard a mother just scolding her daughter fair Lolly toodum, toodum, lolly toodum day Now you go wash them dishes and hush your silly tongue Lolly toodum, toodum, lolly toodum day You go wash them dishes and hush your silly tongue you know you ought to marry and that you are too young. Lolly toodum, toodum, lolly toodum day. Now pity my condition more, just like you would your own. Lolly toodum, toodum, lolly toodum day. Pity my condition, just like you would your own. For fourteen long years I have lived all alone. Lolly toodum, toodum, lolly toodum day. Well, supposing I'd let you marry, where would you get your man? Lolly toodum, toodum, lolly toodum day. Supposing I'd let you marry, where would you get your man? Why, Lord sakes, Mama, I could marry that handsome Sam. Lolly toodum, toodum, lolly toodum day. Well, supposing he should slight you like you done him before. Lolly toodum, toodum, lolly toodum day. Supposing he should slight you like you done him before. Why, Lord sakes, Mama, I could marry forty more. Lolly toodum, toodum, lolly toodum day. Well, now my daughter's married and well for to do. Lolly toodum, toodum, lolly toodum day. Six daughters married, now I'm in the market too. Why, Lord sakes, Mama, who would marry you? Lolly toodum, toodum, lolly toodum day. Why, there's doctors and lawyers and men of all degree. Lolly toodum, toodum, lolly toodum day. Doctors and lawyers and men of all degree. And some of them will marry, and some will marry me. Lolly toodum, toodum, lolly toodum day. So now I am married and well for to do. Lolly toodum, toodum, lolly toodum day. Oh, now I am married and well for to do. 
Ha ha, jolly girls, now I've a husband to lolly through them, do them, lolly through them day. Uh, that was a mother daughter song. Here's a husband wife song. I don't know why all of these are so uncomplimentary toward married life, but I, I really haven't heard any songs. Uh, I don't know. Why is that? Love songs. All the love songs are tearing down love, disappointed love. I suppose it's. Well, uh, when everything's going all right, you've got better things to do than sing about it. I married me a wife in the month of June, rissledy rustledy now now now. I carried her off by the light of the moon, rissledy rustledy hey bombastedy nickety nackety retrical quality will it be well be now now now. She swept the floor but once a year, rissledy rustledy now now now. With she swore the broom was much too dear. Rissily, rustily, hey, bombastedy, nickety, nackety, retrical quality, will it be well a bay now, now, now? She combed her hair but once a year. Rissily, rustily, now, now, now. With every rake she gave a tear. Rissily, rustily, hey, bombastedy, nickety, nackety, retrical quality, will it be well a bay now, now? She turned the butter in Dad's old boot, rissily, rossily, now, now, now. For a dasher, she used her foot, rissily, rossily, hey, bombastedy, nickety, nackety, retrical quality, will it be well a bay now, now, now. The butter came out a grizzly gray, rissily, rossily, now, now, now. The cheese took legs and ran away, rissily, rossily, hey, bombastedy, nickety, nackety, retrical quality, will it be well a bay now, now, now. The cheese and molasses are on the shelf, rissily, rossily, now, now, now. Well, you want some more verses, just sing them yourself. Rissily, rustily, hey, bombastedy, nickety, nackety, retrical quality, will it be well be now, now, now? I hope you got all the words to that. Hope you were singing with me all the way through. It's not hard. Rissily, rustily, hey, bombastedy, nickety, nackety, retrical quality, will it be well be now, now, now? And uh, without further ado, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the people that are going to play this unusual instrument and some other instruments, because they are a family loves to make music together. The Beers family, Bob and Evelyn Beers and their daughter. And they have been traveling around this United States singing all sorts of different songs, some of them old, some of them less old, but I'll let them tell about themselves. So stick around a moment and we'll hear this thing. It's called a psaltery. <laughs> I'm just going to sit back here and listen along with the rest of you to the music of Bob and Evelyn Beers and their daughter Marty and uh, just enjoy it. They've got all different kinds of instruments here, strange looking ones. Well, Bob, you say what it's going to be. Well, Pete, you were uh, singing just a little while ago about the difficulties of uh, married life. Now, uh, sometimes it's uh, pretty hard to uh, for people to get married in the first place. And uh, the instrument that I'm holding here really isn't a musical instrument, but uh, it's called a twitching stick. Now there was a bachelor boy who uh, was a horseman, and uh, he used a twitching stick to quiet a horse. Now you put this uh, rope thing here on the horse's nose and twist it up or pull it up tight, and that worries him. If you're wanting to put a shoe on the horse, of course, uh, you can get your brains kicked out. But uh, by putting this on, it takes his mind off the uh, rear end and puts it on the front end, so to speak. Uh, so uh, this young man uh, in his uh, courting had uh, some problems uh, getting his uh, girlfriend to, uh, to uh, court, of course. And uh, so he put his knowledge of horses uh, right to work. And this is how it goes. Bachelor boy and he was bold and gay. 
her, twas in the month of May, but she did shake and tremble, and fear was in her eye, and every time he wooed her, the buxom miss did cry. She did shake and tremble, and fear was in her eye. And when he tried to shoo her, the colt did buck and shy. So from his pouch he drew a blade, both long and sharp and thin. And carved himself a twitching stick and took her by the chin. It made her shake and tremble and fear within her rose to see the jolly twitcher a hanging from her nose. <laughs> Make yourself a twitching stick and pacify their mind. So the lad did go a courting, and he was bold and gay. He loved the miller's daughter. It was in the month of May, but she did shake and tremble. Carved himself a twitching stick and took her by the chin. It made her giggle and wriggle and wriggle up her nose. And while she was so occupied, he rumpled up her clothes. Just make yourself a twitching stick and pacify their mind. That's the strangest kind of fiddle bow I've ever seen. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something about that a little later on, Pete. But uh, one of the reasons that I use it is that I use a good many different tunings on the fiddle. I use as many as uh, six tunings, and I'm going to change the tuning right now for the next tune. tuning now to a modal, an old modal tuning in which uh, my middle strings are in uh, fourths, my tops are in thirds, and my lower strings are in fifths. And we're going to do a tune that is similar to one that I've heard you do called Pretty Polly. This is called Molly. instead of Polly. <clears throat> the Maid on the Little Sand Crow. Let's lower that string down. 
down there, Marty. Marty uh, that's the stuff. Oh, Molly, oh, Molly, come tarry with me. Your favor I fairly would know. Come sit on the brink of the green grassy brow and gaze on the wonders below. And gaze on the wonders below. Question the leave of her hand on the bank of the little sand crow. On the bank of the little sand crow. In faithful phrases her words they befell, in tones so soft and low. Oh, I cannot marry the truth I must tell. To a mother I've given my vow. To a mother I've given my vow. But none was so fair as the one that was shorn from the bank of the little sand crow. From the bank of the little sand crow. He put her dear body upon a green bough, a sorrowful sight for to see, and lowered her down to the waters below and sailed her off to the sea. And sailed. flowers far out on the tide till they gathered her up and they twined all about in a bower so soft and wide in a bower so soft and wide oh many a valley this maiden did find many a river did see and many a lover did weep on the side as she sailed to the arms of the sea as she sailed to the arms of the sea is an example of uh, some one kind of the music that we had in our home and that I've remembered ever since I've uh, been a boy. Now we're going to show you another uh, bit of this uh, music and I'm going to play this old uh, instrument that uh, Pete referred to a little while ago. It's called a psaltery and uh, the psaltery as you know is the ancestor of the harpsichord. It goes clear back to biblical times. At the time of Daniel, uh, uh, he played a psaltery. David played one. They had them in Solomon's temple. And uh, we're going to play an old family tune called Dumbarton's Drums that was uh, brought to this country by Martha's great, great, great grandmother, Annie McManus. Thank 
of strange things in the old days. Uh, they had ideas about herbs and flowers, uh, that they had somehow something to do with uh, love and romance and whatnot. For instance, uh, I suppose everyone has heard that a uh, 
willow tree means sorrow and sadness and perhaps a broken love affair, that a rose means true love. Well, uh, the herb thyme, T-H-Y-M-E, uh, means innocence or virginity. And here is a lovely song called In My Garden Grows Plenty of Thyme. Everything in our family began with old-time fiddling and, uh, and ended with old-time fiddling. And uh, we have a custom in the family that is not unknown in other parts of the country, but that we cherish very uh, highly. That is the art of playing the fiddlesticks. Now, Evelyn is the champion fiddlestick player, I think, of all time or something like that. But you've heard that expression, fiddlesticks, old fiddlesticks. What do you suppose a fiddlestick looks like? These uh, things that she's uh, picking up here are fiddlesticks, and this is the way they're played. <laughs> Here again, I'm making a tuning. This is the third tuning I've used. This is tuned to, to what my grandfather called F now. And the tune that we're going to play is an old Irish tune called the Connathman's Ramble.
<laughs> well, I hope we'll have, in fact, no, we're going to have some more music, but uh, sure, I'll stick around just a moment, and I'm going to join this ensemble if the Beers family doesn't object. Not at all, Pete. Considering I never heard the tune before, I just, <laughs> I just about learned it by the time you stopped. Uh, Bob Beers, you know, the first time I met you was in a big uh, folk festival in Oklahoma City. Do you remember that hot, the sunny day? Hottest place in the world. And uh, I, you were introduced as Fiddler Beers and his family. And I watched you play. But I met, met you at other folk festivals, so last summer at Newport, but never have I had a chance to really talk to you find out more about this instrument? For example, how did you learn it? Was it in your family? My Aunt Mabel had a psaltery laying in there. They had a parlor that was, was a kind of an ante room to a parlor, the big parlor. You know, they used to have a sunroom. And, and there was a table in that room that had a very small psaltery always laying on it, and I started playing that. It was uh, much smaller than this. And I graduated from one to another till I went through uh, three of them, and this is the third one. Now, there's lots of musical families in the country, peop uh, families who make their own music, but uh, they don't all uh, start traveling around and making music for others. What got you started doing that? Well, uh, I, I suppose you uh, probably know the answer to that yourself. You start playing in your hometown. We lived in, in uh, near Lewistown, Montana, and uh, uh, mostly in our home, and people would come in to listen to us play and uh, on Saturday nights. That was our traditional night. And uh, then the first thing you know, we were in Lewistown playing for banquets and then at the state capitol playing for banquets and uh, banqueting uh, pretty largely over the United States. You must until have had your <laughs> fill of, of chicken and, and canned peas. Well, you can, see that I've, you can see that I've done well. <laughs> uh, Anyway, uh, I guess uh, it just uh, added up to getting from one state to, to another until we got to be well known enough that uh, people asked us to play in the East. I'm glad you brought all these strange things around because it kind of shakes people out of the idea that music always has to come out of one particular kind of instrument or even fun has to come from a in a particular kind of way. For example, this strange thing you've got on the left of the psaltery, what on earth is that? Well, uh, this isn't actually a family thing, but it, the, this is called a potato man. My uh, great-grandmother, Annie McManus uh, Rooney, had a uh, courting box, a fun box, and it was full of odds and ends of toys that were homemade mostly, that had been given to the kids over the years. And uh, we were showing that box to some people up in Canada. And uh, a man said uh, he saw the little dolls that dance. Uh, each one of my father's uh, brothers and sisters, and there are 12 of them, had a doll that danced. And this man saw them dance. And uh, he said, I make a little uh, man called a potato man. And he kind of dances too. You put him, uh, put a potato as a weight, put him over on the end of a table like this and he'll dance back and forth and back and forth keep right on going well, let's have some more music. You said you had a song with your daughter about walking in the parlor? Yes. Uh, my family, I mentioned Saturday nights. My family, for generations, had a si Saturday night of music. There were, I remember, seven fiddlers in the family, and uh, uh, my Aunt Gladys, who played uh, old-time piano, and I became eventually an eighth fiddler. And on those Saturday nights, we learned, that's where I learned the songs that I know and the fiddling. And the one song 
above all, it was identified with the family on those nights. And we always sang, just about first of anything, was a tune called Walkie in the Parlor. <laughs> get started, I don't want him to stop. I was just learning that chorus. Walkie in the parlor. How does the second line go? Walkie in, I say. Walkie in, I say. Walkie in the parlor, boys, and hear the banjos play. Walkie in the parlor, boys, and hear the banjos ring. And watch my honey's fingers as he picks up. that once again. Walkie in the parlor, boys, walkie in, I say. Walkie in the parlor, boys, and hear the banjos play. Hey, now uh, you mentioned something which uh, sounded interesting because uh, some while back we had Jean Ritchie visiting the Rainbow Crest program here and she had one of these little dancing dolls which uh, had been hand carved and danced up and down on a kind of a board. And sure enough, you have one. Yes. This time you got two of them. Where'd you, where'd you get them? They're called, my father made the one on the right, and I made, I figured he needed a partner to dance with, so I made a little girl to go with him. <coughs> They're called jack dolls, or limber jacks. Well, let me get in key with you so I can play with you. This is the Lamplighter's Hornpipe.
You know, now, uh, I can't see, see this much more without mm -hmm. trying to make one of those myself. You mean you can whittle it with a knife? Yes, uh, they're best to make out of walnut. Uh, the little man is made out of walnut because it's a very hard wood, and these, the constant swimming, swinging of the arms and legs will uh, cause them to wear through. Uh, after Gene Ritchie showed one of these on our program, we had letters coming in saying, where can I buy one? And the answer is, by gosh, I guess you got to make it yourself. Yes, that's a good idea. I can tell you one place you can get them. Don't, uh, don't, don't, no. don't, don't. <laughs> the whole idea of the Rainbow Crest is people got to learn to do some things themselves, and it's Great. a lot of fun to make it. Wonderful. Now stick yeah, around. Sure you can make the, the, the upper, uh, the thigh piece with two flanges, one on each end, so that it'll fit in the rest that's of the right. pieces. That's right. All right, now stick around. We have time for a little more music, and we'll be back to see you in just a moment. Fiddler Beers and Evelyn and Marty, since you all started off in Montana before you started cruising around the United States and the world too before you're through, I thought I'd sing you a Montana song. It's in a favorite old one. And this song too started in Montana and I'm sure it's going to go travel around. I ride an old paint, I lead an old dance. Going to Montana to throw the holy hand. They feed him in the coolies, they water in the draw. Their tails are old and matted, their backs are all raw. Right around little doggies, right around them smoke. For the fiery and snuffy are raring to go. Try y'all help me out on this key of A, at least my A. Try it. Right around little doggies, right around them slow. For the fiery and snuffy are raring to go. Old Bill Jones had two daughters and a son. One went to Denver, and the other went wrong. His wife, she got killed in a pool room fight. Still he keeps singing from morning till night. Right around the little doggies, right around. I've worked on the farm, all I got showed, just this muscle in my arm, blisters on my feet, and callus on my hand, I'm going to Montana to throw the Julian right around. harmony on this song. Basses, alto, tenor, soprano. saddle from the wall, put it on to my pony, lead him out of his stall, tie my bones to his back, turn our faces to the west, and 
We'll ride the prairie that we love the best. Ride around the little doggy, ride around the stone. All the fiery and snuffy are raring to go. Try to get Many a bar room closed on that song. <laughs> now, I had a funny idea for the end of this program. As I was listening to you half an hour ago singing Dumbarton's drums, it was so beautiful I couldn't get the tune out of my head. And it occurred to me that maybe some of the people out there would also not be able to get the tune out of their head. So while the commercial was on, I started writing out the words of the chorus. And I was thinking, sing the last part of the song over again and see if maybe all together we couldn't sing it and anybody wants to join in. <coughs> Mitch Miller isn't around, but we'll sing anyway. You start off. got to go. I hope this tune sticks in your memory the way it seems to stick in mine. And maybe, who knows, we'll all be singing it together sometime. Dum, dum, strum, they sound so bonny. So fine 
I'd weave a magic strand of rainbow design of rainbow design. In it I'd weave the bravery of women giving birth. In it I'd weave the innocence of children over all the earth, children of all earth. Far over the water, I'd reach my magic band to every city, through every single land, through every land. Show my brothers and my sisters my rainbow design. Bind up this old world with hand and heart and mind. Hand and heart and mind. Oh, had I a golden thread and needle so fine. magic strand 